have breaking weather news. Strong storms pushing through the Chicago area this evening with powerful winds and drenching downpours. Take a look at this shelf cloud from Manuka captured by Chicago and Midwest storm chasers. Here it is. It's near I-55, the I-80 corridor. Several roads were closed in that area. Storm system dropped hail as well. This is video from Earlville in LaSalle County. Practically looks like snow filling the streets there. There are numerous reports of hail, some two inches in diameter. And so, powerful storms left the trail of damage in the far southwest suburbs. Big trees ripped right from their roots, and tonight, the cleanup is underway. WGN's Brona Tumulty joining us now live from Shanahan with more. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, we're here at the intersection of Lakeview Drive and Sunset Court in the Shanahan area. A lot of the homes and the streets here are still in darkness tonight. You can see some of the damage here at that house behind me where a branch fell on top of the roof. The guys back in the studio there tell us that this was likely a microburst or straight line winds that came through this area. You can see behind me here some more of the damage where massive trees were snapped in half. So the only thing holding that giant branch up are electric wires. So we cannot touch any of this. This is what Kathy Ficklin from Shanahan is talking about. The storm today forcing one of her trees onto the neighbor's garage, held aloft by power lines. And we just prayed that nothing moves that. And she's not the only one with a big cleanup job ahead. The entire neighborhood sounded like it just started crackling. And all, all the branches came down at one time. Someone who lives down the block is Judy Fronick. Well, it was a little frightening, yes. I was looking out my patio window and I saw my neighbor to the south. The tree just boom, fell down. That was the first. Telling us she heard the sirens sounding off. I did not see a tornado, but I'll tell you what, it was raining so hard and the wind was so strong, you couldn't see for the rain. But then the, I think it was about 3.15 and about 10 minutes later, the sirens went out. When the wind stopped whisting and the rain eased off, she stepped outside to survey the damage, quickly noticing part of her neighbor's backyard patio is now in the front garden. But soon it was all hands on deck to get the streets cleared. You know, it was amazing. People were coming. A gentleman came in a red pickup truck, went in the back and took out a chainsaw, started working on it. My neighbor across the street came out, did the same thing. And then more people were coming down the street doing that. So it was like that, people got That cleared. quick. Neighboring Manuka and Manhattan also got slammed by high winds and wet weather. The storm snapping some power poles there like twigs and shutting down several roads. And while the lights may be off for some for the foreseeable future, those we spoke with at least are safe. Is everybody okay? Everybody's okay. Everybody I've talked to. And thankful their homes are still standing. But you know what? The houses are still up. You'll get the candles going to be okay. Yes, you got it. <laughs> And we did get reports from a couple of storm spotters earlier that they saw a brief tornado touch down just north of Manuka, but no confirmation on that yet from the National Weather Service. Again, still a lot of cleanup to get through here, but we so far have had, heard no reports of injuries. More live in Shanahan, Brona Tumulty, WGN News. It's a lot for them to clean up there, Brona. Thanks. And severe weather caused damage in the northern suburbs, too. Take a look here. This video is from Lake Bluff in Lake County. Storms bringing down power lines in this neighborhood. Several trees also were toppled and just south of Lake Bluff in Highland Park the storm down power lines and sent trees crashing into homes and vehicles you see that here described the residents there described these winds as very intense in Vernon Hills a large tree crashing down in the middle of a road crews on the scene there working to clear it away heavy uh, rainfall causing some airy roads to flood as storm drains quickly filled at last check ComEd was dealing with about 8,600 outages across the area. Much calmer seen downtown and across the Chicago area now.